Hi, George Cow here. I want to show you the best AI tool that I've come across recently. This is truly amazing. It's called Notebook LM from Google itself. And you can go, I'll give you the link below in the description to get there. And um, okay, so here's what it does. It can take long documents that you have and allow you to chat with your documents. You can even have up to 50 documents all put into one notebook, it's called. And you can chat with the notebook to like brainstorm, to solve problems, to learn about the, these sources, to get an outline, to ask questions about it. And what's also cool is you can e instantly create an AI generated audio podcast to give you a summary of the sources. So let's get going. Let me go ahead and show you how this works. So uh, once you get to Notebook LM, you know, click on Try Notebook LM and you'll end up with a place that looks like this. Basically, um, you have to upload your documents or you can just get, or you can link to YouTube videos. They, 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 they can transcribe the YouTube videos so you can chat with the, the content as well and or you can add Google Docs slides etc. So I already have a couple Google Docs I want to add to this. So I'm going to click on Google Docs and I'm going to go ahead and add the recent ones. This one and this one. I'm holding down the command key on my keyboard and clicking both of these on Windows. It's control. Hold down the control key and click multiple documents if you want. You can search by typing what you want or you can browse by clicking my drive. Anyway, I've, ser I've selected two of these. I click insert and there it is on the left hand side uh, they are adding both of them now and they're both checked which means and i'm going to go ahead and click on generate okay so once i've added them i'm going to click on generate and this instantly begins um, generating an ai uh, you know audio podcast uh, which i will show you it'll be quite surprising and not only that i will give you a link below this video to get to hear the whole thing so, but while I'm waiting for this thing to, to happen, I can go ahead and start chatting with, with, uh, with um, the, this notebook, which understands and has fully read the two documents I have. So, so I can, it already gives me a summary, okay? It already says, hey, this is, this is what, um, this is what these, these documents are about. I can click on study guide. All right, I'll click on generating a study guide, okay? And it's go ahead and it's it's doing that. But or I could just start typing. Um, what are three key ideas I must understand? Okay, question mark. Press enter. Just you know, I'm gonna get go ahead and get started. And and this is just like using ChatGPT or whatever. But it's 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 really get. Oh, okay. Already it's um, uh, new note. Okay, this is the study guide that I created for me. It just it popped up because it was ready. But I can just collapse it and look at it later. And it's like ChatGPT, except it's only using the information from the documents I've uploaded. And so, and it not only gives me the answers, but it also gives me the, um, it also gives me the, uh, if I move my mouse over, over uh, these numbers, it tells me where the information from the documents is, 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 is generated. So it's pretty amazing. And then I can either copy this information to put it into another document if I want to, or I can say that was a good response, bad response, or I can save to note. And save to note just means that now within this notebook, so every each new project is called a notebook. So within this notebook, I have two notes. I have the study guide that's been generated automatically, um, you know, including a short, short answer quiz. Answer the following two questions. I mean, it helps you to study so you can understand these documents. Um, short answer, quiz key, essay questions, pretty amazing. So definitely designed to help students, right? Or this is the, this is the note that I um, that I saved based on my chat. But I can ask it any questions. What um, is an unusual uh, thing from from these documents? Okay. So whatever it's a you can ask whatever you can ask follow up questions etc. But anyway, so okay. Um, yeah, so okay. I'm gonna click on note uh, notebook guide now on the right hand side. Oh, it's still it's still generating. I can't wait to show this to you. I will click. I will put it in the link below. But there's other things you can do. Uh, frequently asked questions. Let's go ahead and click on click on that and let it generate. But as you can see, this is. Um, I mean, I wish I had this when I was when when I was a student, right? Um, and but but anything anything you want. Remember, you can add sources. Okay, 
to add more sources to the same notebook here, click on Add Source on the right-hand side. Remember, you can, you can link to a whole website. So if, if there's a really long website and you're like, oh gosh, instead of reading all this, I wish I could just have a conversation with it to chat with it, you can do that. You can upload YouTube videos or you can paste really long text. And I'm sure they're going to add more options. Or you can upload. Of course, you can, if you have a PDF or, or even an audio. This is amazing. A long, long audio lecture, whatever. You can upload it directly to here. Let's see if uh, the notebook, it hasn't finished generating. Well, I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not going to waste your time here. I'm going to go ahead and link it below. And uh, let me see. I'm just going to pause this for now. Well, while it's waiting to generate, I'm going to show you a couple of other things. So let's do table of contents, for example. Okay, table of contents, it's generating based on both documents that I've uploaded. Again, the, the maximum at this time is 50 documents. So it's, um, you know, for people who are doing like research papers, particularly, that would be really, really helpful. Um, program overview. So it gives you, since I have two sources, right? So source one um, and let's see, source two. So it's giving me a, a table of contents based on each document rather than, uh, rather than rather than the whole thing, but it's like okay, can you generate the um, the ten most important points from both documents in in uh, the most log logical order possible? Thank you. Okay, press enter. Right now, this uh, this input window is kind of small. I wish it was bigger, but they are going to continue making improvements. I'm sure, but it's really amazing that this is sort of like the new way of learning, right? Instead of like having to read something and try to understand everything yourself, you can still read it, of course, but I prefer just to chat with something, to ask it questions, most important points, unusual points, something I would definitely want to know if someone were asking me about these sources, that kind of thing, and then continue asking follow-up questions. So top 10, top 10 points, so this is, this is great, it's amazing. It's like, hmm, are there an additional important uh, and you can even misspell it. It's okay, 10 points to, to know, okay? And then, so let's see here. Okay, it's finally generated. Okay, here we go. Listen to this. Hey there. So you're thinking about joining George Cow's ABC Master Heart program for... First of all, I even pronounced my last name correctly, which is quite amazing. 2025. Yeah, it's a big decision. It is. Diving into a community of soulpreneurs, mm -hmm. getting personal... And he even pronounced soulpreneurs correctly, like soul, like, you know, soulful entrepreneurs. Personalized guidance from George himself. Definitely a lot to unpack. It is, it is. But that's what we're here for. Right. Exactly. We, we've yeah. gone through all the details, okay, so it's, it's, testimonials, everything well, to bring you this deep dive. Absolutely. So to get us started. Um, now, you, you heard some of the gibberish that the other, the, the female host was, was saying in the background. So I might, I might give it a thumbs down because it's not a, it's not a great output. It's not bad. It's usually it's quite good. But, um, and then what you can do is you can click on this button to share it, which I'm going to do, which I'm going to give you the link below, copy share link. Um, and you can preview it to see what it looks like. Uh, okay, so basically, when you sh when I share it with you, um, it's still loading. It's still working on it because I just generated it. Okay, there it is. You'll you'll be able to listen to something like this. But you can also download it. So click here, change playback speed. You want to listen to it faster. You can download it and then upload it to you know um, whatever other audio editing, or you can upload it to WhatsApp to share with a group or share with a friend or whatever. So anyway, have fun with this new tool. Uh, I look forward to hearing how you decide to use it and what you use it for. Do comment below and share with us what you're using it for. And if you want to share with us any uh, audio overviews, now you know how to do it, generate it. Again, when you get to your notebook and you start working with it, remember you have to click notebook guide on the bottom right and then generate it. And, and if you've already generated it, but you, you've, you're coming back to it after a few days, it might say load conversation. So it'll load the original one you generated. Or uh, you can, I'm gonna go ahead and download this, just I don't wanna do it. You can delete it. Okay, delete it and then generate it again. And this will do a new, uh, new, new version. And I wonder if I deleted it, Will this one still be available? I don't know. I will. I will let you know in the com in the uh, uh, in the description below. I'll I'll give you whatever version uh, I end up generating. But I wonder if this anyway. You'll you'll uh, you'll you'll find out when you test it out yourself. So have fun and thanks for watching.